Oh, I thought she was pooping oh. on me, but she wasn't. <sighs> she just had a warm butt. Oh. <laughs> hey friends, welcome back to Uncle Joe's farm. I'm Uncle Joe. Today I thought I'd show you guys my chicken coop and how it's set up. I was very lucky when I got this property. It had a chicken coop and a run already enclosed for me. I'm pretty set up. It's pretty legit. So I thought I'd show you around. Let's go take a look. So you can see right here, we just have some construction fencing put up to give them more area in the grass. Right now it's getting kind of small. We need to get some more fencing. Um, it's cheap. It's easy. You can find it at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever. Or if you work in construction, you can probably get some for free somehow. Literally, we just have some PVC. I think it's all PVC. I used a T-post driver to put it in the ground, but you could use a hammer, anything. And that just gives the ladies more room on the grass and it's easily movable. We had it over here for a while. You can see how the grass is much lusher and greener up until this point. That's where the chickens were for at least a month. And then you can see this is where they were last. And it's brown from where they dug up a lot. They had a big area over here. This was our compost pile, but the chickens um, really like to scratch through that. But we just moved it over here. I have eight chickens, two, four, six, eight. They're still all here, that's good. Say hello. Ah! <laughs> all right, so if we go inside the barn, you can see the first section. The actual inside of the coop. I have electricity down here. It's so nice, especially at night. So here's their coop area. It's time to clean it out, be warned. So, we just scoop some poop, but I've got some, some water here that I'm gonna fill up. Their feeders here, and we've got nest boxes here. Looks like we've got our eggs laid for the day. They all fight over this nest box, but they'll use different ones occasionally. On the other side of this little wall is actually a separated coop. They can go in and out underneath, but I also have a piece that hangs on there so that they cannot go back and forth if I needed to separate them for some reason. And obviously this door leads to the outside. I will show you where this leads to, right out here. So if we go in this door, there is wire separating this little spot out from where they are. And then this can be open. And here's that separate little area from the inside. It has a little nesting box, I've never used that. Uh-oh, we got a kitty in the coop. <laughs> but I've closed this off. I was trying to get some uh, grass to grow in this side of the run, so I didn't want them out here. It has so far not been successful, but now it's winter, so we'll try again in the spring. This was all, when I bought the property, completely overgrown. We actually, we whacked the entire thing, realized later we shouldn't have because the chickens ate the rest of it very quickly and there's no more grass. But uh, there's that little space. I do have locks at the top of my doors so nothing can get in because this is definitely not raccoon proof and probably not anything proof. Now I'll show you the inside of the run. Of course, I left the water running. We try to keep them to have the water outside as well, so they have plenty. And I do turn the water off at the house that comes down to the barn in the winter and just turn it on when I come to refresh the water so it doesn't freeze. This area also was completely overgrown with grass, not anymore, and it is on a slight slope. So we've been having problems with the soil running down and piling up in the back. So Charlie, my wonderful boyfriend, even it back out and put some stops in here and filled it with leaves to try to try to help with the erosion a little bit. But they've got lots of room to play in here. They've got a cute little house here, which is just adorable. They like hanging out around this thing. And under there, I don't use these feeders outside. I just use the one on the inside. And there's their little door to get back into the coop. So around the entire perimeter, we have this hardware cloth and it goes down into concrete. And I can show you over here, it's very deep. 
all the way around is like this. This side has been eroded away so much, you can tell. But it is very, very deep concrete. It helps keep any critters out. So that's really nice. And keep some people in. Ow! That's big red. I have, my chickens have little bracelets on their ankles, if you can see them. I can tell them apart. So most people at night will come and close off the door to the coop once the chickens go inside. Now it seems like, you know, a lot of work having to come all the way in here, close that. And I realized nothing's getting in here besides a kitty occasionally. So all that I do at night when the chickens, they put themselves up, once the sun goes down, they go in and roost. I just come down here and close this door. And I lock it at the top to make sure that nothing can get in. So it's really simple. Keeping chickens is really a lot more simple than I thought it was going to be. I'm sure I will come up with problems at some point, but I've had these ladies since um, March, I wanna say, and it's now December, so we've got nine months in. No problems whatsoever. I get eight eggs a day. They're happy, I'm happy. Come here, come here. Um, I come out every morning, open that door before work. I'll bring down any chicken scraps that I had the night before from dinner. They enjoy that. At night, after the sun goes down, the chickens will put themselves up in there uh, by themselves. I just walk down, close that door, and that's all I have to do. It's really so much simpler than I thought it was going to be, which I think is usually not the case when it comes to animals or farm related things. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'll give you guys updates on uh, what my chickens get into. I'm sure I'll end up having problems at some point, but as of now, we've had no problems. So chickens, I recommend it. So far, 100% recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Until next time, bye-bye.